Welcome to a GCSE high tier exam question on basic trigonometry. Basic trigonometry applies to right angle triangles. If we know two sides in a right angle triangle, we can find an angle. If we know a side and an angle, we can find a side. In the first part of this question, we're asked to find side H, which belongs to both right angle triangles you can see, the one on the left and the one on the right. In the one on the left, we know a side and an angle, so we can calculate H. The one on the right, we only know a side, so we couldn't use that to calculate H at the moment. Let's remind ourselves of the three trigonometric ratios, which you have to learn. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now let's look in this triangle. I know this angle is 40 degrees, which side is H in relation to this angle? It's the opposite side of the triangle. 20 meters is the adjacent side. I don't know the hypotenuse at all. So I'm looking at opposite, the one I'm trying to find, and adjacent, the one I know. So the ratio we need to be using is tan. So we write tan of 40 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is H over 20. Now to find H all I have to do is multiply through by the 20. So we get 20 tan 40 degrees is equal to H. And then we can use the calculator to find H. 20 multiplied by tan 40 and on this calculator you hit the 40 and then the tan button where on most calculators it's the other way around. 16.78 to two decimal places. H is 16.78 meters. Moving on to the second part of the question, we have to calculate angle X. But of course now we know that H is equal to 16.78 meters. Now, which two sides do we know in relation to angle X? Well, the 16.78 is at the opposite side of the triangle again. And the 32 meters is adjacent to angle X. So we're looking at opposite and adjacent again, still looking at tangent. So we can say the tan of angle X is equal to opposite over adjacent 16.78 divided by 32. Now we also have a tan to minus 1 function on the calculator. And the tan to minus 1 function says, if you give me the tangent, I'll give you the angle. So it's x is equal to tan to minus 1 of this fraction. And it's essential that you put it in a bracket, because this must be worked out before you apply the tan to minus 1. So if I pull up the calculator, I want 16.78 divided by 32 equals, now I want tan to the minus 1. It's usually the same button as the tan, and on this calculator I need to press the shift button, then it becomes the tan to the minus 1 function, and it's 27.7 degrees to one decimal place. X is 27.7 degrees. And that completes the question. 